Hey guys, today we're gonna to be looking at how to create rich product and product category pages to rank better for e-commerce. We're gonna take a look at Seattle Coffee Gear and what they're doing to grow search traffic and rankings. We're gonna start by going into this Espresso Machines category, just kind of see what they're doing here. So their categories aren't as good as I'd like them to be, but they do have nice filters, they have an intuitive design, and they have good images. The thing I really wanted to show you is how they're doing their product page SEO in CRO. So right off the bat, we have very pretty images of their product. They look great and it loops. We have a nice title, we have good breadcrumbs, and we have some upsells as well as a nice add to cart button, as well as some cool skill level programming and size information. And we can learn more and look even more at the features. This is how your product pages need to be for SEO. Look at how much information is present on this page, letting them rank for their keywords. So let's go all the way back up to the top and go through this one at a time, their product page SEO. First, we have an expert review. I love this because it's such a fun thing to do. It's giving me a specific, you know, to, to their industry, a review from their barista. So anything you do that's specific to your industry is gonna cause a big effect on CRO and SEO. So here we have pros and cons, giving a couple examples here, as well as a nice design. If we scroll down, I love this. I absolutely love this. They have an overview of the page and the product, as well as a video. Using product videos can be very great for your product pages, increasing conversion rate, and doing everything you can do to improve time on site on this product page. Then they have features. So additional SEO content, getting keywords in there and all kinds of stuff. They have a link to their brand page that includes all the other products within that brand. And they also have specifications, some resources, a video, user manuals, so they're trying to give you as much information on the product as possible, linking where it's relevant, linking to their categories. And then they have even this cool compare similar machines. Now, in this case, it looks like there's actually only one or yeah, only one similar machine. But on other pages, they have multiple different products. And remember, all of this content here is content for SEO as well as for users. And so this page now has a thousand or more words of content. They have reviews, and they list out multiple reviews. So let's just check how much content is on this product page. We go all the way up here and we check 2000 words of content. This is exactly what Google loves to see. Most e-commerce sites might have a 500 word description and that's it. Seattle Coffee Company is doing it right with creating useful content that keeps people on their product pages and does everything it can do to get SEO content on this page. So I absolutely love what they're doing. If we dig into the SEO side of things, we can look at their heading tags and their title tag to see what kind of SEO tags they're using for their performance. And so here we can see their title tag. It's a little bit long, but I'm not mad at it. We have a good meta description. They've actually listed their keywords within their meta keywords which doesn't affect SEO, but it can sometimes be good for organizing your practice. Although it does tell me exactly what they're trying to rank for. So we can even search up here and see how they're doing. We see Breville ranking number one and Seattle company a little bit farther down here, but still not doing bad. Now let's look at their heading tags. Make sure they're doing this right. So they have their product name there and they have an overview, can't decide on a machine, about Breville, and a couple other things here, videos, user manuals. Now there could be uh, some improvements in this header structure, that's for sure, but still not bad, they're doing an okay job. Overall, this is a great example of how to structure a product page for SEO. You want great content that resonates with the user, keeps them on the page, and causes them to buy. But you also need word count and keywords on that page. The main thing to think about is product pages often have 
very short amount of content on them, you need to increase the amount of content and specifically rich content, engaging content. And so what we do with our clients is the SEO keywords are everywhere in the page, including the title tag, the image alt text, and everything like that all across the page. And we make sure that we have engaging modules here. So videos, FAQs, features, information that we can use on the page that's gonna be useful for users and increase the content for search engines like Google as well. Lastly, we wanna check if the page has schema markup. Now, schema.org. Schema was created by all of the major search engines to give them additional information and structured data to understand the internet. This is extremely important, especially for product pages, because this is what allows us to have those pretty ratings and reviews and free delivery and return text on our results which really help the search engines in this click-through rate on search engine. So we can search structured data or schema tester on Google, see Google's own website, go to the rich results test and just drop your uh, URL in here and it will show you what your schema is or the lack of it. So now that's ran, we see we have nine valid items. If you don't have any valid items, that's a bad sign. You can never get those nice stars in Google. And we can see we do have some valid, uh, some non-critical issues detected on multiple areas. And we actually have a lot of schema here. Um, so I do applaud them for having a lot of schema. They have their reviews listed there. They have their organization. But let's check in some of these issues. So right off the bat, we see that they have a duplicate of their organization schema. It's not ideal, but they are linking their Instagram, Twitter. Um, overall, this is a pretty good schema. And then let's go to product snippets. We can see they're giving their product name there, their description. Uh, I'm not worried about price valid. They're giving the price there. They're giving information about the brand. And they're getting the ratings. So really they have most of the schema that you need on your website with just some issues. So I would clean this up a little bit, make sure you're not getting any uh, issues there and make sure that you have all the information as well as even keywords within your schema. So I hope that helps you with product page SEO and how to increase the traffic coming to your product pages. Now, of course, best practices for on-page SEO apply. And I recently created a video on on-page SEO and all of that's gonna matter. Your SEO title tag, heading tags, and everything matters crucially for your product page SEO. So if you are trying to optimize your products with extremely good, rich content, then reach out to my team and I, and we have a development team as well as an SEO team that can fix up your product pages to make them rank Google. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments or message me on Facebook or LinkedIn, as well as schedule a call if you're ready for that. Thank you so much, appreciate your time.